order so I can to clean them, pay my respect to Tamir Rice and his family, but also to mention so many others in Cleveland that had died from police bullets and some of our sisters died while in custody. Their lives are precious and their killers have to answer not to a corrupt court system that doesn't care about our lives. They lied from the prosecutors, from the forensic specialists, everyone, the judges, they're all liars and they back each other up. But in the court of the divine law, they have to pay for what they've done. No mistake about it. My teacher taught me that when you wake up in the morning, justice wakes up with you. And when you lay down at night, justice lays down with you. So every deed that we do carries a consequence. Whether the court is involved or not, God is always involved. So what you send for, it will come back into your life. So that's why we should be kind and loving to one another. And when we have a misunderstanding, before you reach for a weapon, you reach for each other. Let's sit down and talk about it so that we will not shed each other. So in the name of the God, who ought the God, who permitted this death, to show the rest of us how evil our tyrannical former slave masters are. This is pure wickedness. And look how the judge came off of his bench out of the role of a judge to justify one man and excuse him while there were 13 that did the shoot. If any one of my little young brothers here get involved in some criminal activity and they are young and they're rambunctious, when they go to court, if somebody dies in a robbery and you are a part of it but you didn't do the shooting, what does the judge say? Sorry, you are just as guilty as the person that pulled the trigger because you both went to rob. These people came to kill. Why should one man have to pay or look like he's going to pay and then they let him go and the other 12 never see the light of the court? That's why we're going to Washington say justice or else. God really is the or else because he said vengeance is mine and he said the battle is not yours the battle is the Lord's and I'm here to tell you that the Lord is not to come, he's present. He's taken up the fight now for our deliverance. Make no mistake about it. He has never lost the battle and he's not gonna lose this. The jets are flying over downtown uh, Cleveland to show the power of the United States military. can send water down in torrents and you can't get your plane up off the ground. He can send snow down in torrents and you can't move your tanks. 
then he can turn nature against you because no matter how powerful they are, they can't control the wind, the rain, the snow, the hail, the hurricanes, the tornadoes. God is present today. And he is wreaking havoc on America as we speak. You will be delivered. You will be set free. And the debt of all our ancestors that have died outside of the law of justice, it will be paid for. I close with this. Beloved family, think about reaping and sowing. If any of you have been on a farm, and you plant a seed, a kernel of corn. Look how small that is. But Jesus said, if that kernel of corn doesn't fall to the ground and die, it cannot bring up a brand new stalk. And in the Quran, there's a picture of a, of a seed of corn. And as the stalk comes up, there are seven ears on that stalk and a hundred grain on every ear. Seven hundred times to the one that you put down of nature. And my beautiful little sisters, one day they're going to be, be mothers. And my young brothers, one day, God willing, will be fathers. And it's just, you see, that you plant in the right place at the right time, and you don't get back a seed, you get back a beautiful child. God amply rewards. But well, what about that time when you have to reap what you sow? Can America handle it? Can she handle the response to the transatlantic slave trade? Can she handle the murder of our fathers and mothers and the murder of the native people of this land? Can she handle it? Can she handle the problems of what they call foreign policy objectives, where they go into other people's land and create mischief and then bomb and destroy their cities. Can she take it when it comes back home? Brother Malcolm, in 1963 when John F. Kennedy